Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I'm a little late here, 15 minutes into the opening bell. Today is August the 28th, 2018, and I just had to drop off my son at school. That's my life now. He did start school, so let's see what is going on. We did get a signal here. Do, do, do. I don't like it here. I don't like it here at all. Um... We got the moving averages still, um, gosh, flipped uh, the other direction, 15 minute as well. Um, it doesn't seem very strong here at all. We're right smack dab in the middle of the uh, pivot point, so it could go either direction. Really, I'm looking more so for a move to the upside more than anything, mainly because of the uh, moving averages here. So we're just gonna sit back, as always be patient, let the market come to us. If we play puts, I am looking at the 290 puts. They look so tempting, but I'm going to stick to my guns here. Um, just, I don't like it. I don't like, um, I don't like, I don't like it here, just in general. Um, and for a couple of reasons, uh, the moving averages, um, sure, it looks like it's just now crossing over here, the uh, 10 uh, crossing downwards uh, across the uh, 20, but also the 15 minute chart, um, just, just something about it I don't like, and um, I'm good with not trading, not trading until the uh, right ch trade comes um, our way. Those 290 puts, I could have bought those at around 88 to 90 cents, somewhere around there, and it's uh, trading 90 by 92. So still not a whole lot of movement. I'm glad I didn't get into those puts, uh, just didn't seem strong enough. I mean, obviously it could dump from here but uh, just not nothing about these indicators uh, nothing about these arrows told me that it was a strong move from the get-go and just FYI those 290 puts they're trading at 80 by 82 cents so I mean gosh I, I would have been at a, at a loss right now um, and worried about this trade so Again, just being patient, finding the right opportunity, that's a key for me. I am seeing another arrow here, still not liking it at all. Not very strong. The, ooh, just, it, it's gotta drop. It's gotta significantly drop for this thing to show signs of, of strength. So, not gonna trade this one either. Um, let's look at the 290 puts. They're still only trading at 85 by 87. Make that 86 by 87. So still I would have been down. Had I traded, had I played, um, especially this, uh, these arrows right here, I would have still been down and still looking to, um, um, you know, f I'm fighting for, for, to get out at least even in nothing. Look at that. See, just don't, don't like it don't like it at all here it's looking better here it's definitely looking better but um still not really liking it um geez 34 i'm starting to like it a little bit better here um what are those options trading at see they're still only 88 by 89 it looks decent not that it looks great but it does look decent here um i don't think it's good enough for me to trade though Well guys, that was the trade right there. This right here, this arrow, this indicator right here, the one that I was talking about, um, the one that I said that uh, it looked decent but not good enough for me to trade, well, it was a decent move. Um, those 290 puts that expire in three days, they're trading at a dollar, 98, excuse me, 99 by a dollar. 
So that would have been your 10% very easy, very quickly. Again, I'm still trying to figure it all out, but um, I am trying to identify better entries. I did mention it that it did look decent, just not good enough for me to trade, but um, that was that was it. That was that was the move right there. That's all you need in uh, when you're trading spy options. That's all you need. Not even a 20, 30 cent move. Um, Gosh, it's just, uh, that's the beauty of trading SPY options, everybody. Hey everybody, this is Giovanni from SPY Options Trading. Today's video is brought to you by these ducks in the background. If anybody has any issues with ducks, comment down below. I'll take them down for the next video. As you saw in today's trade video, I didn't get to actually place a trade. It felt like it was a slow market, and it was for the uh, better part of the uh, morning, but I did find a decent move. Um, I didn't trade it. I just didn't have a good feeling of that strength in, in the market, and so I just uh, I opt to stay out of the market altogether. But the, the most important thing that I can take away for today's trading session is I was able to identify that slow market, identify a time when I should stay out of the markets um, because it's weak, it's slow, versus a, a time that, hey, you know what, it it's time to trade. It's time to get into a trade and make some money. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning as much as I can, as fast as I can um, to identify these days to trade and not to trade and to find some good signals within my strategy, guys. Another thing, guys, I was invited. I had the honors of being on a uh, live podcast uh, last night. A big shout out to Ed from Trade Streams. Thank you so much, Ed. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a new experience for me. It was really, really cool talking about spy options. Um, really cool. I hope we make one, uh, another one in the uh, future. I'll let everybody know on my channel and everywhere else on social media when Ed has an, another podcast um, scheduled for, for all of us. And it's very interactive. You guys can ask, ask me questions, ask any of the other traders questions as well about how to trade, uh, risk management, uh, all those good things, guys. It was really cool. I'm going to put a link in the description down below or somewhere around here, uh, but more than likely in the description below uh, of the podcast that happened last night. Thank you so much, for everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate the support. Send me your questions. Comment down below. Email me. I'm going to put my email in the description as well. I'm here for you guys. Let's learn to trade options together and make money. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Talk to you later, guys. Take care.